Thought I'd check up on things. How is little Ant after yesterday? Well, actually, he's lost his two front teeth. But you know what? He'll be OK. He's just in the kids' room. Didn't want them waking up little Isaac. How are you doing, love? I think Harry's done a runner. He what? I tried to call James last night to change my alibi, and he said Harry never turned up to the plea hearing, and now he's got no idea where he's gone. What does that mean? I don't even want to think about it. He's not guilty. He was with me the night of the hit and run. I'm sure there'll be an explanation for all of this. We can't jump to conclusions just because Harry isn't answered his phone. I can't think of a single reason why he didn't show up and as he's trying to escape justice. You need to calm down in front of these kiddies, OK? Cos you're going to scare them. I can't calm down. I need to know what's going on. Who's this? this? Sorry, uh... Didn't have a pen. No. Guess I can say goodbye to your face now. Why are you running, Harry? Uh, please, look, the police are going to be here any sec. Are the police going to take Harry away? Frida, can you take him upstairs, please? Uh, come on, let's get you and Hannah ready for Tom's turkeys. They're going to be wondering where we are. But James drugged me. That's why I missed the hearing. And why would he do that, eh? Because I kissed Steve. He wanted to punish me. He's gone mad. You kissed Steve? <laughs> you know, Harry, I don't know what to think anymore. There's been so many lies. No, Dad, please, I need you to believe me. Without you, I've got no-one else. You've got a son! I know. You know, when you have kids, something changes. Y your, your heart aches all the time, like it's, like it's preparing you for the worst possible thing that can happen. When I lost little Grace, it was absolutely the worst thing, but my heart, my heart almost prepared me for it. As a parent, you never stop worrying that you're going to lose a child, but no parent ever imagines their child's going to turn out bad. No, I want so badly for you to be proud of me. But the best thing I can do for you right now is just to... Just to get out of your life. You know, I love you so much, Harry, but you're a coward. You left Amy for dead. How am I supposed to believe you didn't do the same for Grace? I don't know. You might not have killed anybody, but everything you do has consequences. I've got nothing left. We should go. I love you. You broke my heart, you know that? Now get out of here before I call the police. I'm sorry. I'll just go. Look at you. You've only been in the world a couple of days and everyone already loves you. Especially me. Your dad. Uh, you don't need me. You got your mum. And she's the best kind there is. As for your granddad. Just take care of him for me, yeah? I just wish that. I hope that one day someone can explain to you why I had to go. You don't have to go. That's the only way. OK, I need to get away from here. I should never have lied. Our little boy's going to grow up without knowing his daddy all because of me. No. Sadie, this isn't your fault. I am not a good person. Everything that I've done in my life, the bad decisions I've made, it's all catching up with me. That's what I deserve. You'll be fine. No. Okay, please, just... Just tell him. Tell him I love him. <laughs> tell him. And that wherever I am, wherever I am, I'll be thinking of him. And that I'm sorry. Have you heard about you missing the hearing? What happens now? I just came to say goodbye. I'm innocent, I am. Okay, but I've got no defense, a dodgy alibi for the hit and run, and a really bad track record. If I stay here, I'm gonna go to prison. But this is this is stupid, you can't do this. Why don't you come with me? 
Hey, you can pack the bags, bring the kids, we can get away from this place. Why? Why would I want to leave? I've got an amazing house. I've got people that actually care for me for once. I've never had it so good. Yeah, but look who you're shacked up with. Okay, they're a bunch of racists, that's not you. It's not like that. And if you listen to Johnny and Stuart, they talk sense. When you left me, Harry, I had nothing. I'd lost Tegan, I'd lost my business, and then Johnny came along and he changed everything for me. So I owe them so much. Honestly, I'm happy. Just be careful. You know, the minute you start to feel hate towards anyone for any reason, it won't end well. <laughs> Quick, go out the back. If you can get to the dog car park without being seen, I'll call you a cab. It'll be in my name. Wait. So he says goodbye. Forever. I'll get out. When we're together, I forget what we did to Grace. And then I come out here and the guilt hits me. Don't you think I feel that too? I was the one actually driving the car, Liam. I was the one that put her in a wheelchair. Let's go back inside. Look, we're supposed to be celebrating, remember? Somebody else is going down for the hit and run. We're off the hook. I can't. Silver's out front. I get it. I've done my job, made you feel better about yourself, and off you go to do the family thing. You always knew that would deal. Doesn't mean I have to like it. It wasn't Liam driving the car. It was you. I knew Liam was involved, but you. It was a private conversation. <laughs> Someone's been sick. Hold it in, I'll go to the river. Well, you were having an affair with Liam. That's why you were together that night. You need to listen to me, right? You need to forget what you heard and disappear ASAP. If you go to the police and just admit what you did, I can clear my name. This is my future, my life. That's mine too, sweetheart. And I won't let anything get in the way of that. I have a son now, you realise that, yeah? I am a dad. Congratulations. I am running away from all of that. I am not going to see him grow up. My son is going to have to live his life without me because okay, of you did. Okay, what I did it, yeah? I ran her off the road. I did the hit and run. What are you going to do about it? Go to the police, I guess. No, because I will not let you destroy my family. Destroy you? You've been sleeping with Liam behind your husband's what proof, back. What proof have you got? Right? You you open that mouth and I will come after you. Do you understand Mercedes. me? Mercedes. I mean it. You tell anyone about that. You tell anyone about the hit and run. And I'll kill you. Have I made myself clear? Some evidence that can clear my name. But I need some guarantees. Like, no, I'm not just gonna walk into the police station. But there must there must be another way. Okay, you know what? Just just forget it. Harry. Harry, it's me. Look, just give me a call back when you get this year. I just want to tell you that I love you. Dad. Hey, can you call me back? I got your message saying that you love me. Listen, there's stuff you should know. And okay, things that I've just found out. So, 
Laurie has decided to plead guilty, which means there won't be a trial. Our Sinead is going to be over at the moon. Oh, wonderful. You should call Tony. No. No, he's got nothing in his place. And he's been out all night looking for Harry. And I don't want to remind him of what Laurie did, so... Oh, finally. Any luck? I've been through Harry's address book. I've called all his old mates. None of them know where he's gone. Which is my fault for pushing him away. He's probably fine. Just has other priorities. I should go. My Aunt Miriam said we can stop with her till I get myself back on my feet. What? You know, that voice merely left me. He had something important to say, then it just cut off. Diane, what if something bad's happened to him? You know, you're just feeling guilty because you parted on bad terms. Go and get some sleep. Oh, he came back to get something to eat. I'm gonna keep looking. Diane's right. You should drop the kiddies off at Tom's Turtles, let me take care of it. I could make one of my famous lasagnas. I'll just sit round and do nothing. Harry's probably in France, sipping Chardonnay by now. Do you really want to spoil all that for him because you feel guilty? If only I'd listened to him instead of making him feel like a complete screw-up. You know, maybe he'd still be here. You mustn't blame yourself. Some things are in the Lord's hands. You know, when I first met Harry, he was a complete stranger to me. I don't want a life without my son. That's why I'm not giving up until he tells me everything's all right. Have you checked the cab office for clues? Because if he ordered a taxi out of here, they'll know where he went. Thanks, Breda. You're all right for a McQueen. <laughs> You're coming home and getting some rest. Okay. What? Harry's just text from France. He's safe. <sighs> He's forgiven me for yesterday. I feel like such an idiot for making everyone worry. Oh, no, Tony, that's great. You know, maybe now we can, well, you can finally come home and take it easy. Right, let's go and grab a cup. Yeah. Rita, will you join us? Uh, no, thanks. I've got an errand to run. I should have done it last night, but little baby Isaac was keeping me busy. So I shall see you later. Okay, listen, really, you got a flat tire there. Let me fix it for you. Uh, no, that's so kind I can manage. I've never been shy of hard work. <laughs> Idle hands at the devil's workshop. Thank you. See you later. Laurie's pleading guilty. And that's amazing. Why didn't you say? Well, I was going to, but well, you were so worried about Harry. No, oh, darling, I'm sorry. I'm 100% at your disposal from now on now that I know that Harry's safe. <laughs> yeah, I never showed you, did I? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I never thought Harry was the emoji type. <laughs> He's not. Harry hates emojis. When I use him, he refuses to reply. You know, I never noticed that before. Harry would never send a message like this. Unless... Well, what if somebody else sent it? And Holly in Hong Kong, then Ellie in New Zealand. Guess what? He's never once sent him a text using an emoji. Right, Tony, we're all upset, OK? But do you not think you are reading too much into a text? No, oh, I mean, what if someone else sent him? I mean, what if it was James? He's already admitted to drugging him. What if, what if he made him disappear? Tony, will you listen to yourself? Right, you're talking about James Nightingale. He can be cruel and vindictive, but he's not exactly Tony Soprano. Knock, knock! Look. Right, well, that's the kid he's dropped off at Tom's Turtles. Now I thought I'd make a nice cottage pie. I'm a chef. I'm capable of feeding my family, thank you. Tony, sorry. What he means is we don't want to keep putting you out. I'm just trying to make things a little easier for you all. Well, how about finding out what happened to my son? I thought he'd been in touch since he left town. No. Yeah? No, somebody wants me to think he has. Right, you need to stop this or you're going to make yourself ill. Right, go and get a shower and get some sleep and we'll talk about this later. No, Diane. Harry's my son. It's up to me to make sure he's safe. Open up, James. Look, I know you know where Harry is. Look, I want to see him. I'll tell you what, you better not have heard. Kick-offs normally happen at closing time, not when I open. What is going on? It's Harry. Tony, you need to calm down. Right. This needs to stop now. Both of you, pull. Really, something has happened to him. Tony, no one else was involved. Harry ran over Grace and did a runner. That's all there is to it. No, no, no. Harry explained all that. 
After he drugged him and made him miss his hearing, he felt like he had no choice. When it comes to being a good father, there's always a choice. I hold my hands up. I shouldn't have done it. I'm a horrific individual who has as much understanding of real love as that of a pot plant. But that's how I know where you're headed. The obsession, the anger, the inability to see beyond your own wild theories. Don't be like me. You're better than that. No, no you're wrong. Someone else is pulling the strings. I just need to dig a little deeper. What did you do that for? I had to, the way you was carrying on. Now, I've been nice. You need to grow up and see sense. You are so busy chasing after that ne'er-do-well son of yours that you are neglecting the three children that you do have at home. Hey, that's not true. Really? Why do you think I've been cooking for you all week? Diane has run herself ragged, covering your shifts at the hutch and taking care of the children. You've not even noticed. I'm sorry. I failed him. And now I'm failing the others too. I just need to let him go. so much. You must think I'm a terrible father. Trust me, I've known worse. <laughs> well, I don't know what you said to get through to him, but I really appreciate you. I can't imagine what we'd have done without you this week. <laughs> oh, my pleasure. And don't worry, I should be keeping a close eye on you all from now on. Nanny Breeder is here to help. Thanks. <laughs>